Everything you know about sensitivity in Fortnite is wrong. Look, if you're like most Fortnite players, then you keep your sensitivity the same. And that makes sense, right? Because when you keep your sensitivity the same, you get more practice using that sensitivity so you can get better. Hi, I'm Cram, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about the science behind why you should change your Fortnite sensitivity. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel so when I release a new video, you get notified. Now, when you consider that your mouse movements are a motor skill, you would expect that minimizing any variables is the best way to learn and improve. But this scientific study changes everything because it shows that motor skills can actually be enhanced through the exposure of increased sensory motor variability. In other words, by changing your sensitivity, you can expect to make greater improvements to your mouse movement skills than if you were going to keep your sensitivity the same. Now, let's go a little deeper and find out exactly what's going on. So here's what the study was testing. Participants in the study were given a special kind of mouse, one that required you to squeeze the sides of the mouse to move the cursor up and down. Then, each of the participants was given a test where they had to click targets on the screen as quickly and as accurately as they could, and they were given a score to indicate how well they performed. And why not use a standard mouse? Well, the scientists wanted to eliminate any possibility of expertise from skewing the results. In other words, by testing a novel activity, such as a mouse where you squeeze the sides to move it, each of the participants would be at the same starting level. Also, the participants were split into different groups. For one of the groups, the researchers secretly changed the sensitivity of the mouse between tests. Now, each of the groups would take the test again, and the scores would get recorded. And here's where things get interesting. All the groups improved their performance once enough time had passed between practice sessions. But the group that had their sensitivity secretly changed roughly tripled their levels of improvement in comparison to the other groups. Imagine you could triple your rate of improvement by doing something as simple as changing your sensitivity. Does that sound like something that you would experiment with? Of course it is. Tripling your rate of improvement is enough to excite anybody. But there are some important limitations in this study that you should consider. As you know, the task the participants were asked to perform was a novel one, where you squeeze the sides of a mouse to move it. So, no one had any prior experience with the activity. In other words, the study was not testing the impact on changing the mouse sensitivity for experienced users with a typical mouse. And there have been no long-term studies done on the impact of changing variables on experienced individuals for motor skills learning. In particular, there are no studies that are testing the impact on performance that changing mouse sensitivity has on gamers or Fortnite players at least none that I could find. So I was left to experiment on myself to find out how changing my sensitivity could impact my performance. And here's my experience. So in the study, the participants were unaware that any changes to the sensory motor variable or sensitivity was occurring. And it's not clear how important this factor was in producing the positive results, or if it even mattered at all. Unfortunately, it's not really possible for you or I to change our sensitivity and not be aware that we've changed anything at all. So you're going to have to make the change consciously. And that's fine. Look, since reading the study, I've been experimenting with changing my sensitivity. I was skeptical at first, because I was always of the opinion that changing your sensitivity was a bad thing to do. Now I want to share with you some of the results and explain how you can intelligently apply a sensitivity change to your own practice. So my preferred way for training mouse movement skills is to play Kovacs FPS Aim Trainer because the scenarios allow you to isolate your mouse movements. And you get a score at the end of playing a scenario so you could gauge how well or poorly you did. So Kovacs was the perfect environment for testing this change. And I was blown away by the dramatic positive difference that just changing my sensitivity had on some of my scores. You see, by just changing my sensitivity, I was able to increase my scores in certain scenarios by about 10%. Bear in mind, I'd played some of these scenarios for literally dozens of hours and I'd hit a plateau for many weeks. Now, a 10% improvement by doing something as simple as changing your sensitivity is certainly nothing to sniff at, because for experienced players, 
it can take a very long time to see any sort of improvement. And when I experienced firsthand the benefits of changing my sensitivity, I began to experiment with programming it into my usual routine. I found that changing my sensitivity every three days works really well for me and it fits my schedule. But if you play less frequently, then changing your sensitivity about once a week would be a good starting point. And I wouldn't recommend changing your sensitivity any more than three days a week. And if you're a competitive player and you compete in tournaments, I do not recommend changing your sensitivity one week before a tournament because you don't want to risk decreasing your performance before a tournament. And as for how much you should change your sensitivity, I found that large changes from my base sensitivity can result in a decrease in performance. For example, when playing Kovacs, my scores sometimes got much lower if I was using a very different sensitivity. But when I would return to the sensitivity I was using before the change, or at least a similar sensitivity value, I had improved. So the temporary decrease in performance was well worth. So how much should you change your sensitivity? I think that small changes of about 10 or 20% from your base sensitivity are enough to get the benefits. But I think making large changes of about 40 to 50% to your sensitivity can be very beneficial as well. And let me explain why. Listen, it's very unlikely you're using your ideal sensitivity right now because your perfect sensitivity is one of many potential values and the chances of you stumbling upon it by chance is precisely zero, even if you were to use something like the PSA method to help you find a good sensitivity. So, by experimenting with different sensitivities, you increase your chances of finding a better sensitivity for you. And when you're using a particular sensitivity, say 25 centimeters per 360, then you're only going to be training the parts of your mouse arm and hand that are required for that particular value. In other words, you will neglect training certain parts of your arm and hand. Consider this. The player with perfect aim must have complete control over his wrist and fingertips for small and fine movements, and complete control over his arm for larger swiping movements. The perfect aimer can therefore play using any sensitivity, and by setting your sensitivity higher, you force yourself to train with your finer motor movement muscles, so your wrists and fingertips. And when you set your sensitivity lower, you train your larger movement muscles more, so your arm. My suggestion then is that you train and experiment with sensitivities that are much higher and much lower than you would normally use, so you can train those aiming muscles that may be underdeveloped. Even if this results in a temporary performance decrease, do not worry because you're training for long-term gains over time. In conclusion, you need to practice a lot to get better, and we knew that. But our brains can quickly get accustomed to doing the same thing over and over again. Look, as humans, we're lazy, and we want things to be automatic and effortless, so we can use up as little of our processing power as possible. And when the variables remain the same, our brains enter the autopilot mode. Of course, Autopilot isn't always a bad thing, but it can result in your performance staying at the same level because you stop paying attention, and as a result, you stop improving. Imagine you have a physical training goal to complete 10 consecutive push-ups. For most fit individuals, completing 10 push-ups in a single set isn't very challenging. And while you may make gains on your progress to get to the goal of doing 10 push-ups, you won't continue to progress unless you change the stimuli and make things more difficult. Changing your sensitivity is a way to kick your brain back into learning mode and force you to pay attention. And while this can result in your performance temporarily decreasing, it's well worth it. Because getting better at Fortnite isn't a straight or linear process, and there are times where your performance is going to remain flat or even get worse. And that's just how learning works. Listen, there are very few hacks that we know about that allow us to make a dramatic increase in our gaming performance by doing a something as simple as changing a sensitivity. And changing a sensitivity is one of the first things that I've come across that allows you to smash through any plateau. So what are you waiting for? Change your sensitivity and kickstart your learning process and get better today. Before I wrap this video up, I just wanna say thank you so much for 1000 subscribers. 
It really amazes me how many of you have watched my videos and subscribed to this channel, and it's truly an honor to be able to make this kind of content for you. I promise I'll be making more videos in the near future, so if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and if you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like because it really helps my channel grow. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, have an amazing day. Peace.